This is section 2-3 remainder and factor theorems. Factor x to the third plus 7x squared plus 4x minus 12 completely using long division if x plus 6 is a factor. Well, it says use long division, so that's the first thing we're going to do. Use long division. We have x to the third plus x to the third plus 7x squared plus 4x minus 12. And we're going to look at the very first terms and we multiply x times x squared to get x to the third. Then we take x squared times 6 and get 6x squared. And when we do long division, we always subtract. Well, x to the third minus x to the third, that's 0. 7x squared minus 6x squared is 1x squared. And then we bring down the 4x. We multiply x times x to get x squared. So x times x gives you x squared, and then we have plus 6x. And in long division, we always subtract. 4 minus 6 is negative 2x, and then we have minus 12. And to get negative 2x, we take negative 2 times x to get negative 2x. And we have minus 12 because negative 2 times 6 is negative 12. And then when we subtract these two, we get a remainder of 0. So x plus 6 is a factor, and that's why we got a remainder of 0. Then we take what's left. We have x squared plus x minus 2, and we factor what remains. So we have x plus 2 and x minus 1. And it says factor completely using long division. We've done that. And then if we bring over the x plus 6, then this polynomial is completely factored. Divide using long division. All right, let's get rid of this. We have 6x to the third minus 5x squared plus 9x plus 6, and we're dividing by 2x minus 1. We want to find out what do we take times 2x to get 6x to the third, and that's 3x squared. So we take 3x squared times 6x, uh, 2x, and we get 6x to the third. And we always subtract with long division. And... Uh, but uh, we have 3x squared times negative 1 is minus 3x squared. Negative 5 minus negative 3 is negative 2x squared. And we bring down the 9x. Uh, we, now, we, now we ask, well, what do we take times 2x to get negative 2x squared? And that's negative x. So negative x times 2x is negative 2x squared. And then negative x times negative 1 is plus 1. And we always subtract with long division. 9 minus 1 is 8. So we have 8x, and we bring down the 6. We multiply 2x times 4 to get 8x. And then 4 times negative 1 is negative 4, and we always subtract. 6 minus negative 4 is 10. The answer is 3x squared minus x plus 4, and then plus 10 over 2x minus 1. Divide using long division. When we have a power missing, we represent that power with a 0. We have x to the 4th, x to the 3rd, x, and then the constant. What's missing is the x squared. When you divide using long division, you want to represent all of the powers starting with the highest one on down. So we have 4, 3, 2, 1, and then a power of 0, which is the constant. We multiply x times 4x to the third to get 4x to the fourth. 4x to the third times x, 4x to the fourth, and then 4x to the third times 1 is negative 4x to the third. And then we subtract. Negative 2 minus negative 4 is 2x to the third. And then we bring down the 0x squared. Without this 0 here, we wouldn't have a placeholder for the x squared. Now we multiply x times 2x squared to get 2x to the third. So we have 2x squared times x. That is 2x to the third. 
and then 2x squared times 1 is 2x squared. Now with that 0 there, we have a placeholder, and we can actually do the subtraction. 0 minus 2 is negative 2x squared, and then we bring down the 8x. Well, we multiply x times negative 2x to get negative 2x squared. Then negative 2x times 1 is minus 2x. And in long division, we always subtract. So 8 minus negative 2, that's 10x. And then we bring down the minus 10. We multiply x times 10 to get 10x, and then we have plus 10. And when we subtract, we get negative 10 minus 10, that's negative 20. So 4x to the third plus 2x squared minus 2x plus 10 minus 20 over x plus 1. Divide using long division. We have 3, 2, 1, 0. All the powers are represented. And we have over here 2, 1, and 0. So all powers are represented here as well. Well, we take x squared times x to get x to the third. Then x times 5x is negative 5x squared. x times 6 is plus 6x. In long division, we always subtract. Negative 1 minus negative 5 is 4x squared. Negative 14 minus 6 is negative 20x. And then we have to bring down the 4. We take x squared times 4 to get 4x squared. Then we have 4 times 5 is negative 20x. And 4 times 6 is 24. When we subtract, we get negative 20 as a remainder. So x plus 4 minus 20 over x squared minus 5x plus 6. Synthetic division. Shortcut for dividing a polynomial by a linear factor of the form x minus c. We're going to do synthetic division, and it only works when we're dividing by a power of 1. To do synthetic division, we're going to put what makes this factor 0 in a box. So 3 makes that factor 0. We're going to put that factor in the box over here, 3. And then we're going to write the coefficients, starting with the highest power, and of course representing every power, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So none of these powers are missing which means we are not going to have to write any zeros. So we have negative 6, negative 5, and then negative 8. Then you write a line leaving room underneath the, 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 the numbers here. And the first step is to whatever is in this spot right here, whatever number, we just bring that one down. Everything after that is multiply and add. So we take 3 times 2 is 6 and add. Negative 4 plus 6 is 2. Then multiply again. 3 times 2 is 6. And going down, we add. So there's a 3. 3 times 3 is 9. And we get 3. 3 times 3 is 9 again. And here we get 4. 3 times 4 is 12. And then when we add here, we get uh, 4. The answer is 2x. Well, let, let's start it like this. Let's, let's work backwards. Uh, this first number right here that's the remainder. So we have a remainder of 4. That's one way to write this. And this is the constant right here. This is going to be the x. This is x squared. This is x to the third. And this is x to the fourth. So we have 2x to the fourth plus 2x to the third plus 3x squared plus 3x and then plus 4. And it makes perfect sense that if we take an x to the fifth right here, I guess I shouldn't cover that up. If we take an x to the fifth and divide by x to the first, it's going to reduce the polynomial by 1. And what we have is an x to the fourth. Divide using synthetic division. Uh, on this one, we have, we're dividing by 2x minus 3. So we have to get it to look like this. We have to have x minus or plus something. And then we plug in what makes this 0. Now in order to do that, we'd have to divide both by 2. So we have x minus 3 halves. But we can't just divide this one by 2. We have to divide the other one by 2. So we divide by 2 on each of these. And then we can do the synthetic division. Now we're going to plug in 3 halves into the box. And we're going to use the coefficients 5, negative 13 halves, 5 halves, and then negative 7. 
Let's bring down the 5, and when we multiply, we get 15 halves. Then when we add, we'll have 2 halves, which is 1. We'll multiply and get 3 halves, and then when we add, we get 8 halves, which is 4. And then finally, when we multiply, we get uh, 12 halves, which is 6. And we get negative 1 for a remainder. So the answer is 5x squared plus x plus 4 and then minus 1 over 2x minus 3. Remainder theorem. If a polynomial f of x is divided by x minus c, the remainder is r, that's equal to f of c. Uh, in other words, if we want to find f of 3 for this polynomial, if we wanted to plug 3 into all these x's and find out what the answer is, that's the exact same as the remainder when we do synthetic division. So we're going to plug 3 in the box. We'll write the coefficients, negative 6, 4, negative 8. Whoops, uh, hold on now. We got 7. Oh, we're missing an x to the 6th. We have 0x to the 6th. So let's back this up. Negative 6, 0, 4, negative 8, 12, negative 15, negative 9, and then 64. We got plug 3 in synthetically. Bring the negative 6 down. Got it. 3 times negative 6 is negative 18. Uh, negative, uh, then we add. We get negative 18. So negative 18 times 3 is negative 54. And then we add 4 to that, which is negative 50. Then negative 150. And we get negative 158. So negative 158 times 3. Negative 158 times 3. That's a negative 474. And then add 12 to that, which is negative 462 times 3 is negative 1,386. And we're going to add negative 15 to that, which is negative 1,401 times 3 is negative 4,203, and we're going to add negative 9 to that, which is negative 4,212, multiply by 3 is negative 12,636, uh, add 64 to that, and we finally get negative 12,572. So f of 3 in this case is equal to negative 12,000 572. Factor theorem. A polynomial f of x has a factor x minus c if and only if f of c is equal to 0. Use the factor theorem to determine if x minus 5 and x plus 2 are factors of this polynomial. Use the binomials that are factors to write a factored form of f of x. So let's start out with the first one. 5 would make this 0. That's what we're going to plug in the box here. And we have 1, negative 2, negative 13, and negative 10. We're going to find out if x minus 5 is a factor of this polynomial. Let's bring down the 1, multiply by 5, that's 3. We have 15, that's 2. And then 10, we have a remainder of 0. If we divide by a factor uh, and we get a remainder of 0, then that truly is a factor. In other words, if we take uh, 12 and divide by 6, we take that times 2, that's 12, and we get a remainder of 0, because 6 is a factor of 12. As a matter of fact, 2 is a factor of 12 also. Now we're going to take what's left over, and we're going to divide that by negative 2. So let's plug negative 2 into what remains, 1, 3, and 2. And we'll do this synthetically. Bring the first one down, multiply by negative 2, that's 1, multiply by negative 2, that's 0. So uh, negative 2 is a 0, and x plus 2 is a factor. So we're going to use the binomials that are factors to write a factored form. So the factored form of this polynomial is x minus 5 times x plus 2, and then what we have left here is x plus 1. So the last one is x plus 1. Use the factored theorem to determine if x minus 5 and x plus 5 are factors of this polynomial. And then we'll write the factored form of the polynomial. Let's start out with the positive 5. 
So we have positive 5, and we have 1, negative 18, 60, and 25. Bring down the 1, that's 5, that's negative 13. 5 times negative 13 is negative 65, that's negative 5 when we add. And then we get negative 25, and that is 0. So 5 is a 0, x minus 5 is a factor. So let's make that point. This is the factor, and this is the 0 right there. Let's take what remains, and we'll plug in negative 5 into uh, the little box here. Uh, we got 1, negative 13, and negative 5. Let's bring down the 1. We have negative 5, that's negative 18. Negative 5 times negative 18 is 90. So this is uh, 85. Now that suggests that negative 5 is not a 0, and x plus 5 is not a factor. So the factored form is x minus 5 at times x squared minus 13x minus 5. This, actually, this quadratic does not factor.